Hi guys, I've just received the, the Baymax all-in-one kitchen machine. Find out in this video what I think of it when I unbox and review it. Hello, my name is Darren and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to unbox and review the Baymax all-in-one kitchen machine. Well, basically, this is a blender. Uh, blends, stirs, does everything. And, and I got this recently from my deal well because I, I, it looked really good. And I thought I'd get it. So, in the package from my deal world, I've got the actual box itself and also got some free beakers. Uh, which is uh, pretty good. I've got three, three, uh, three beakers and the mixer itself. So let's have a look inside the box, see what's inside. Inside the box we have a set of instructions. We have a free grinder. We have the the mixer itself and we have a stand so on first glance this looks pretty impressive actually it looks really impressive I'm quite looking forward to using it actually just remember there's some extra blades as well some different blades that come with it as well which is uh, pretty cool so overall i'm quite impressed with the look of it first impressions is it looks pretty good especially it comes with uh the free beakers and the free grinder in the, with it as well so it looks really good so what i'm going to do now is have a look at the instructions, uh, try and figure out how to use it, uh, and then use it for a couple of weeks, and then let you guys know what I think of it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I've been using the uh, Baymix, now, Baymix mixer now for a, a couple of weeks, and I uh, thought I'd um, tell you guys what I think of it. So, as I said before, what comes with it is some beakers, some measuring beakers, we have a, a dry grinder, we have the mixer, uh, we have a mixer stand and we have four, four different blades, so it comes off the uh, stand just like so and you can easily put the blade on, which are, the blades are stuck on this, on the, on the stand, so there's two on each side. There's four different types of mixers. There's a general mixer, a general blade, which I've got at the moment. Uh, and then there's uh, three others, including a meat, meat blade. So it just fits on like so. Just clips in. And then there's these two buttons here, power one and power two. And then you can just use that to, um, to mix something, to blend something. Um, you can use the, these jars that come with the uh, mixer, or you can use your own. Uh, this is, I'll just show you a quick demonstration of me using this to uh, make some um, uh, humus. Right, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the Baymix um, hand mixer. So I'm just going to make some some chickpeas in the bowl I've got chickpeas half a can of chickpeas uh, one clove of garlic lemon juice olive oil salt and pepper and a tablespoon of tahini so I'm going to use the multi-blade on the bay mix so I'm just going to attach the multi-blade So you just attach it like so, and 
that's the multi blade attached. Switch it on, and then I'm going to pulse it. made hummus. As simple as that and I've made homemade hummus. Less than five minutes using the Baymix hand mixer. There you go. Uh, that looked quite easy doesn't it? Uh, also with this dry grinder you just take off the end Put it on here, like so, press the button and it grinds it. So you can grind powders, uh, mix pastes, uh, chop little bits of food in there as well. So they're quite sharp. Uh, it's fairly easy to clean. And you just rinse it under the tap and wipe it. And then the blades are easily stored on the stand, like so. Uh, the meat blade, which is this blade here, is incredibly sh sharp. And you have a homogenizer blade and uh, just a normal mixing blade. So what do I think of the, the Bay Mix? Well, let's just go through the pros and cons. First, the pros. Number one, it's very easy to use. Number two, uh, you have four different blades to choose from. Number three, it comes with this dry grinder. Number four, it's easy to clean. And number five, you can use it for a wide variety of things, M making loads of stuff. So what are the cons? Number one, um, it's very expensive, but even though it's expensive, I think you get what you paid for. Um, I can't think of any other cons at the moment. So what's my overall impression? I quite like this mixer. I really do like it. It's very versatile and yeah, I've used it for a load of stuff, making hummus, making guacamole, chopping, making mash swede. Uh, one thing I uh, forgot to mention, you can't use it to make mash. It makes it too, too sloppy. So that's one thing I'm, I'm not... I've found out that it's not really good for us making mashed potato. But yeah, you can use it for making a loads of stuff. I'll give you a list here of what, it, what I've used it for. So, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. I would thoroughly recommend, especially when it comes with a dry grinder as well, which can grind powders. Um, chop uh, small amounts of vegetables, make a paste, etc. with that. So, yeah, very well recommended. So, has any of you got a Baymix mixer, Baymix hand immersion mixer? Have you got something, something else? What do you think? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, then please zap that like button. And if you want to watch more videos like this, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheerio. Bye for now. See ya.